Hey folks, this is Vinny with Picture List. Now, medical science has come a long way over the years, and the future of medicine looks absolutely bright. However, I don't know about you for me, but all too often I've heard about these cures and procedures and technologies that are supposed to be right on our doorstep, but they never quite seem to happen. But what is really possible? So in the upcoming year of 2019, this list is going to focus not on science fiction, but on science fact. So expect everything on this list to upgrade medicinal practice as we know it in the next year. So go ahead, sit back, relax, and let's get this list on. So for number 10, we have the use of the scanning visor for stroke diagnosis. Hemorrhagic strokes are a stroke during which blood escapes from a ruptured blood vessel in the brain. Now these are responsible for nearly 40% of all stroke deaths. So rapid diagnosis is necessary for effective treatment because uncontrolled bleeding can lead to swelling of and damage to the brain. So what healthcare professionals are doing is they're using a new advanced technology like the hemorrhagic scanning visor which can actually detect bleeding in the brain. Here's number nine. Here we have patient specific products with 3D printing. Now 3D printing is something we've all heard about, it's on the news quite often, but utilizing 3D printing technology, medical devices can now be matched to the exact specifications of a patient. So they're designed to be more compatible with the individual's natural anatomy. So devices modeled from patient specific dimensions have shown greater acceptance to, uh, to the body, increased comfort, and improved performance outcomes. Here's number eight. So for number eight, we have innovation in robotic surgery. Most surgeries performed today are the shortest and least invasive that science will allow. This adaptation in surgical methodology has brought about in part because of the integration of robotics. Without robotics, it's just not possible. So robotics in the operating room have provided surgeons with guidance for extreme precision in surgery. It has shortened recovery time, there's limited pain after surgery, and these are just a few of the benefits that we've seen with this minimally invasive robotic surgery. Here's number seven. For number seven, we have cardiac valve replacement. So cardiac surgery today is frequently done with a catheter that's just slipped right through the skin. And many aortic cardiac procedures no longer require an open heart surgery approach. And hot on the trail of aortic valve intervention are recent mitral and tricuspid valve interventions. So these are new. The exploration of this technology in a gr in greater patient population is ongoing, but it has promising post-op results. The innovation has significant implications for the future of cardiac care. Here's number six on the list. So here for number six, we have RNA-based therapies. Akin to the DNA-based gene therapies, RNA-based therapies are the newest innovation. In labs nationwide, they have shown immense potential. So what they're doing is they're using genetic data on the ribonucleic acid level. And this gives scientists the ability to intercept a patient's genetic abnormality before it's translated into functioning or non-functioning proteins. And these new therapies are being explored in a variety of rare genetic diseases, such as Huntington's disease, as well as cancer, neurological diseases, and all of this with the hope of treatment by the way of alternative genetic data. Here's number five. So for number five, we have virtual and mixed reality for medical education. Virtual and mixed reality involve the use of computer technology to create a simulated hybrid environment. Now these reality systems have recently caught the eye of healthcare professionals and obviously they're eager to sharpen the skills of those who are coming into this profession. And it's popular for uh, education to use these VR, MR programs to provide simulation training that serves to enhance traditional medical schooling. Education via simulation is a productive step forward to sharpen those who are going into the, the medical profession and it, all, it also helps them to adapt and gain more confidence uh, as healthcare providers. Here we are, number four. 
Number four is a big one. It's alternative therapies for ending pain. Unfortunately, the, un the opiate crisis has been declared a public health emergency. Today, chronic pain is a leading cause of opioid prescription. However, uh, several clinical validated alternative therapies for chronic pain have, are existing, but none of them are curtailing this crisis. But new innovation and potential for hope comes by the way of pharmacogenemic testing which uses a patient's genetic makeup to predict an individual's metabolism of drugs, including some of the opiate-based uh, drugs as well. Here's number three. For number three, we have an expanded window for stroke intervention. When it comes to stroke intervention, a timely response is critical. Any prolonged lack of blood flow to the uh, brain because of a stroke can cause irreversible destruction, often resulting in disability. So in many cases of a stroke, intervention methods can be deployed to save tissue. But until now, intervention of a stroke has been recommended within a very limited time. But new guidelines, medical invention, and technology have suggested an expanded window for stroke treatment. Here's number two. Number two, we have artificial intelligence in healthcare. AI is changing the game, and with its applications and decision support, image analysis, and patient triage, today artificial intelligence is helping physicians make smarter decisions at the point of care, improving the ease and accuracy of viewing patient scans and reducing physician burnout. For instance, machines learning these new algorithms have the ability to highlight problem areas on an image which aid in the screening process and quickly make sense of mountains of data within a physician's EMR system. Here's number one. So the biggest one on the list here, we have advanced immunotherapy for cancer treatment. Cancer immunotherapy is a technique that uses the body's own immune system to fight cancer. While immunotherapies for cancer have existed for some time, the worldwide work toward a cure for cancer continues to highlight new and novel immunotherapeutic targets. Scientists are creating life-changing new cancer treatments through the concepts of joint therapy and engineered T-cells. With the near daily discovery of new immunotherapeutic targets and biomarkers, it is the hope, and my hope, and your hope I'm sure, that the effective therapies will soon exist for all tumor profiles and end cancer. Look for that advancement this year. So as always, we would like to thank you for supporting our videos. Please go ahead and subscribe. Leave us a like if you haven't already. We will catch you next time.